from NBC News. This is Today with Kathy Lee Gifford and Oda Kotb. Over the last few years, far too many people have died from overdoses, either accidental or not. And it's just not Hollywood celebrities like Glee actor Corey Monteith. It affects families all over the country, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. At least 100 people in the United States die each day from wow. drug overdoses. Here with help are clinical psychologist Elizabeth Lombardo and psychiatrist Dr. Heather Leverin. It's nice to see Hi, you ladies. both, ladies. Nice when when you. we heard about Corey Monteith, he's not someone who we thought of... Um, when it came to drugs, we didn't know that part of him. But a lot of people wondered what may have actually killed him, and some people thought it was because he was a heavy user, stopped past, using, yeah. and then went, may, could have possibly gone back to his normal you know, dose. Is that yeah, something that could have happened? And that's what happens a lot, especially because he had been in rehab hospital, he hadn't used for a while. When you go back, they go back to the same amount, and that his body isn't used to it mm -hmm. anymore, and so that can, can okay. kill you. Young people in heroin, is that, is that something like that they're... It's drug right, right now. Is that can what's imagine? going on? You know, in 2008, um, prescription painkillers overtook marijuana as the most common gateway drug. Oh, oh, really? And prescription painkillers lead to heroin. That opiate addiction, it it's is such real. a tough one to kick, and these days it's so common. Is rehab really what you have to do? I mean, because I know that Corey went through it, but I think a lot of people may have concerns that maybe a friend, maybe someone they know is, is using. Is there, what's the best route to go? They need to get help. They yeah. need to get help. But if they can't do it on their own, they need to get help from elsewhere. And the key, too, is not just going to rehab, but it's when you come out. Yeah. Rehab is kind of that safe place where hopefully yeah. drugs are change drugs your life. There. You yeah. And your friends. And your friends and, and your family. So if you think about with Corey, he went back to the old place where he used to be. And so all those, all the, the cues were there for right. him to start using again. Well, that's an interesting question, because they said he almost lived a double life, where in, at work, he never used. He was clean. He was ready. Oh, was it the work that was giving him a purpose to get up every morning and when, when he didn't have that he would use? I think, you know, it was a lot of hard work for him not to mm -hmm. use. Uh -huh. You know, I heard people saying that it took a lot of time and effort to keep him awesome. clean yeah. even when he was. Uh -huh. the, the wonderful thing now is though we do have treatments that work. Right. We have medications that work. We have Suboxone and Methadone. There is help. And but people you have to should. want it. Don't you? you have to want it. A lot of women, it's not heroin or, or marijuana, it's just, it is painkillers. And I just saw something on Nightly a couple of weeks ago that said that prescription pain killers are, they kill more people, more women than ovarian cancer yes. does. Mm -hmm. It's, is it, what is it? Is it that women aren't, we don't want to feel any pain, so we, we will take medicine, you know, more so than we need? Well, I think that, first of all, there's overprescription. Mm -hmm. Doctors need a lot of education. They, there's a statistic that walking in for the first complaint of back pain, most people walk out with a prescription for an opiate painkiller, wow. which is a big gun. That's heavy duty. So the doctors need better education. The doctors need better prescribing habits. And the patients need to be aware. They need to be told this is an addictive medication. It's only for short-term use. Mm -hmm. You should not take it if you're not having pain. And a lot of people never hear that. Right. It's also such a biomedical society. If something hurts, you I take know. a pill. Hurt where There's the so thing. much research showing that other approaches to treatment, to reducing pain, to helping with depression are so effective. And I think sometimes yeah. if you medicate a lot, you don't know, and I thought about this myself, you don't know when you're past it yeah. because you're always taking meds throughout it. So and you, you don't know, know what's I, normal is anymore. Is the pain over yeah. or yeah. just even, the, even emotional pain if, you're, if you need a drug for that? Yeah. Absolutely. All right, ladies, thanks so much. Thank you for joining us.